This is a book all our scrapbooking friends made. Love dragonflies. It's got the dragonfly. For Kip Laven, the warm memories of his 17 years with wife Michelle well up just as quickly as the tears of loss. She always had a smile. Her laugh. Her laugh was great. Yeah, she was great. Really? Yes, sir. In March of 2011, 42-year-old Michelle experienced a sudden onset of stroke-like symptoms, difficulty speaking, confusion, and odd movements. All tests came back negative, and she was sent home, but Michelle was still struggling. You know, everything was not working. She'd put her shirts on backwards. Within a few days, Michelle was back in the hospital to stay. Stroke and meningitis were ruled out. Kip says primary care doctors and specialists were stomped. And then, without the chance to ever say goodbye, his wife was gone. 40 days, I think, from the beginning to the end, it was done. The diagnosis, Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, CJD. There is no treatment, and it is always fatal. We call rapidly dementing illness. That's uh, something that affects cognitive skills, memory, thinking, behavior, um, and it comes on rapidly. Mayo Clinic neurologist Dr. Alan Aximet says an abnormal infectious protein called a prion is believed to be the cause of CJD, actually creating holes in and around neurons in the brain. It co-ops the normal protein and then it becomes a self-replicating or self-amplifying process, mm -hmm. which essentially kills neurons and, and gets transmitted to other neurons in the vicinity. Dr. Aximet says 90% of cases are sporadic, striking spontaneously without a known cause. The other 10% are familial, which was Michelle's case. Kip says that means their sons Cody and Devin have a 50-50 chance of developing CJD, a possibility he finds very hard to bear. The normal person, if you knew you had it, you couldn't get married, you couldn't have kids, you know. Since CJD affects just one in a million people, research is slow to progress, yet that is Kip's only hope of erasing the long shadow cast by a dreaded disease. For Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Dennis Dota.